as per the circuit diagram we request these components for the construction of ujt relaxation oscillator so this is the first one variable resistance box then capacitance box cro power supply breadboard connecting wires and uh, two resistors then the main part ujt un2646 so this is the un21 uh, uh, un2646 ujt first one emitter second one base one base two from this base one i have connected this uh, 220 ohm resistance and which is grounded here and from base two i have connected this 150 ohm you can see that okay and this base two i have connected 150 ohm just connected to this region the emitter one is here next connection what we have to provide is we have to take the positive terminal of this resistance box from this resistance box we need to take the positive terminal that means the red color which is connected to the emitter terminal next one from the capacitance box we need to take the positive terminal here this green wire which is connected to the emitter and the negative terminal of this capacitance box is the black one this red wire which is grounded here in this breadboard the next one you can see the resistance box from the negative terminal of that resistance box which is there is no polarity actually for this resistance box but for your convenience you can take this negative terminal of this resistance box to the 150 ohm resistance end is connected to this 150 ohm resistance end now take the ground connected terminal of this power supply to the ground terminal of this breadboard and the positive terminal the red one to this point that means uh, 150 ohm end and the uh, resistance box connector in between that we need to connect this positive terminal of this power supply and as per the experiment we need to set the resistance value like a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 microfarads by setting the constant value of resistance 47k, 48k for setting it into 47k towards the 4 region of this 10k you can see that here it's a 10k so uh, towards this 4 I set it and here it's a 7 you can see that 7 so it's a 47 so this is a CRO for displaying our output we are using this CRO nowadays we can use this by using the DSO it's uh, able to get uh, enough details about the frequency voltage time period all these things will be displayed within the screen itself but for the basic knowledge we are using the CRO you can see that the two channels are available you can use either channel 1 and channel 2 for getting uh, if you want to display two waveforms you can use these two channels now I have connected this cable into the channel 1 okay and you can see that in this Pro which is having two terminals black and red in this this red terminal from the CRO which is connected to this emitter you can see that I connected this to the emitter region and the black probe which is connected to the ground and you need to provide the 9 voltage power supply as input then you will get the sorted waveform like this from the amplitude and time period you have to calculate the frequency in DSO it's able to display the frequency time period voltage peak to peak voltage all those things but in CRO you have to calculate the time division or the voltage divisions and the time period by manually you have to calculate and uh, you have to note down the frequency you can see that now it is in now 0.1 microfarad if you are changing this capacitance the width of this sort of waveform will get varies.